Okay, today I'm going to talk about installing Song Director. Song Director is an easy to use music organizer, music player, music management database software that you can download for free from songdirector.com and you can install it on your Windows based PC um, or um, Windows based tablet or smartphone running a Windows operating system. Any full version of the Windows operating systems like Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, 8.1, Windows 10. It will work on any of those. So why don't we go ahead and show you how to download and install this. We're going to go over to Microsoft Internet Explorer. Or this is called Windows Edge now from Windows 10. And go to songdirector.com. This is the main homepage you come up to. And I'm going to click over here to download and install. And hit this button here to get to the download and install page. And we come up to the download page. There's also some um, detailed instructions on how to install this. So you might want to read the instructions on how to install it. And we're going to be going over that in the video. But there's also instructions here on the download page to install it. So I'm going to hit download now. And it's going to say, um, ask if you want to run this. So we're coming, going to come down here and say yes, we want to run it. So hit uh, run. Now one thing that comes up is you're going to, Windows Smart Screen is going to ask you if you want to run this. Now you have to come over here and hit more info at that point. So you just click more info and come over here and hit run anyway. So I'm going to hit run anyway. Now in my particular case, I'm using Norton Antivirus and is asking me, hey, do I want to run this? I'm going to hit uh, OK. Now, it's saying setup. Um, the actual file name is sdsetup.exe. It has a two here because I'm installing this for, um, I already downloaded this once before. So I'm just going to hit run this program anyway. It wants to run the setup.exe file, sdsetup.exe. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to come up to the installation. Now I want to show you how to do this on different um, browsers. I'm going to hit cancel right now. And I'm going to go over to the Chrome browser. So this is Google Chrome. And I'm going to hit the uh, download and install and hit download. Now it wants to, uh, if you come down here to the lower left hand corner, it's going to say, hey, uh, hey, do you really want to run this? This is a safe program. There's, there's no viruses or adware or anything like that. And all it contains is the um, installation program and absolutely nothing else. So it's perfectly safe to download, 100% safe. So you pop over here, hit this little down arrow. You want to right click on that, or left click on that rather. And left click on it, bring this up. We want to hit keep right here. So hit that arrow, hit keep. And you see a little download area here. I'm going to click on this. And again, you have the more info. You want to hit more info, run anyway. In my case, I want to hit run this program anyway. And ask you again, hey, do you really want to run this? Yes. And here's the installation. Now let's go over to um, Mozilla Firefox browser. And we do the same thing with Mozilla Firefox. Going to go to download and install. Download now. You have chosen a download setup.exe. I'm going to hit save file. And it's going to go over to the upper right hand corner where the downloads are at. I'm going to hit OK. Hey, I want to download it. Hit more info here. Hey, I want to run anyway. I still want to run it. Yes, I definitely sure I want to run it. And here we come to a song director setup browser. So I'm going to install this. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to can read through this agreement. I'm going to hit accept this agreement and hit next. 
Now it's going to tell you it's going to download to this default folder. Hit next. I'm going to install. Pretty fast install. I just kind of wait a little bit. And now I finished installing. I'm going to hit finish here. Now we want to go to the desktop here and install directors right here. So we're going to double click this song director screen. Now when you first come up, there's no um, actual song records in your database yet. So you're going to have to add that. Now it's telling you to go to the file menu right here and add some files. So we're going to hit OK. I'm going to make that a little bigger. And I'm going to go to file. Now you can add one music at a time, add a folder of music, or add all music, scan the entire drive. I just want to add a folder right now. I'm going to click on this one. And I want to go over to <coughs> where I have my songs. I'm going, to, I'm going to add some of my iTunes music onto here. So I'm going to just hit, uh, hey, I'm going to add my iTunes music. This is about 2.5 gigabytes of music. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. It's pretty quick. So I added 525 songs into the uh, database. I think about eight seconds to do that. Now it's saying here after loading songs is a good idea to compact the database on a file menu. This will remove unused space from your database, make the database run a little faster. You can do that if you like. Hit OK, go over here to File going to compact the database and hit yes and it did save some space here if you notice now I'll go back over here and this is what we get that was in my iTunes uh, folder iTunes directory so I'm gonna go and um, for at, at this point you can do just about anything um, you can the main screen you have right here is the main grid screen. It kind of, it's kind of displayed kind of like a spreadsheet. And you can organize this any way you want. So I can pop over here and I can move the type over. I'm just going to click on this column. If you notice, the next column heading you click will cause a type column to move beside that column. You cannot move to the third leftmost columns. Okay, so hit OK. And I'm going to probably put that let's see I'm gonna probably put it right over here and I can move my duration over here my bit rate I might want to move over there bit rate is the quality of the song so I'm gonna pop over here now if you if you look over to this uh, sort area you can sort on 23 different fields artist bit rate composer duration file name size um, purchase date uh, year so there's quite a bit of things you can search on here the album name so let's pop over here I can search on my we kind of covered this in some other videos but I'll give a quick uh, view of what this can do I'm gonna just type in uh, Bob Dylan since he kind of popped up and you have all your Bob Dylan uh, information show up, coming up here you can also show all songs by Bob Dylan and you can also find a song here you can use a bunch of wildcard characters make a more um, intricate search here so I can search for Bob here again and Bob is coming up here. I can also do a filter, and this does a more advanced search. Um, so, for example, I can pop over, you know, do a more advanced search, and basically anything you want to search for here. And I can double click on a song, for example. I can add notes here. I can add pictures about this song or album. You can edit the tags here. Now you can also you can edit the um, record, and it will change everything in the record and in the database. But if you actually want to permanently change the file name itself, you would have, you can edit the tag. Come up here um, to where you want to go. Let's see here. 
apple suckling tree right click go to properties go to details and here you can actually um, edit the tag of the file itself and change that change anything you want to change here um, this does not actually uh, this actually changes the file itself or you can change the record itself any way you want here and you can delete a record as well so if you have some duplicates you can delete that and it will not delete the file it will just delete it in the um, database the database record so you can delete whatever you want and without fear of deleting the actual file itself there's also a look on the web button so you can look this song up on the web here it is right here and there's quite a bit of things you can do with this and we kind of cover that in another video but this kind of gives you a, a brief overview and this is this is how um, you download and install songs record now I would advise you to also use the help if you have any questions about songs record um, click on the help and this takes you to the website help page uh, tells you how to copy songs add categories pictures using the grid just about anything you want to do there's a category section where you can add categories to a song uh, there's playlists uh, you can hit play here and um, you have a whole bunch of options here with play play speed and it's actually quite a nice quite a, a nice player here as well so but we cover a lot of that in another video you can now I can go back and hit show all because right now I'm showing all the songs by Bob Dylan I can hit show all and that will bring me back to everything else so this is the install and download of song director it's pretty easy painless process and uh, I'm gonna have some more videos on how to use song director the most effectively